The Soybean School on RailAirCulture.com is brought to you by High Stick NT, Cruiser Max Beans, and Pride Seeds. So it's been another interesting spring here and uh, amazing kind of year we've had really when you think about it. Exactly what we want for a lot of us, a dry start, lots of heat and then a good rain after. You can see right here from this field, uh, you know, almost perfect conditions really right now. So these beans here were planted on April 20th and uh, you know it sounds kind of early, it's you know it is early but they're exactly where I want them to be today which is you know the first trifoliates coming out nicely mm -hmm. and what we want to see before they flower is up to six trifoliates or six nodes and that's hard to achieve in Ontario but if you can achieve it it sets you up for excellent yield potential and a lot of us were able to get beans in in good time the other good thing this year was that most fields that I've been looking at have had pretty uniform emergence. We've got a few issues for sure here and there, but on average we've had just what we wanted, which is some heat and then some moisture afterwards. So here we've got another beautiful example of why we're big believers in early planning. And we've done trials back to 2001, and on average, early planning works for soybeans. Now these again were planted on April 20th which is pretty early for up here and, and they did struggle for quite a while and from a distance you might not think that there's that big of a difference but when you look close so these beans here were planted on April 20th first trifoliate fully out there second one coming out and these ones here planted a more normal time of uh, May, May the 19th and you can see how nothing wrong with these beans but they're gonna have a hard time catching up and what's even more important to what we can see on the surface is what's going on underground and if I dig up a plant here and we gently shake off the roots you'll start to see if you look very carefully nodules starting to form those little nitrogen fixing bodies that are so important for soybeans of course because of nitrogen use and these beans are starting to capture nitrogen from the air while these beans have got at least another three weeks before they can do that and sometimes what happens with these later planted beans is that things just start to dry up when you don't want them to so how much of an advantage is this early planting well generally speaking it's in the range of four bushels over about a month's period. That's on average. Last year was a little bit less just because of the way the year turned out. So the other thing I'd like to point out, if you look closely at these beans here, um, we do have a little bit of hail damage on some of these beans on the unifoliates. At first you might wonder if there's some insect feeding or something going on here, but it's really not. Um, uh, characteristic of bean leaf beetle feeding or slug damage often that looks a little bit more like skeletalized and the veins are still left there this is more just like shredding so really I think this will not impact yield whatsoever beans are neat that way you can actually pluck off the unifoliates completely and that will have less than 5% yield impact in fact, probably only 2% yield impact on the overall crop. If you did that to the whole field, plucked off those unifoliates, new, new uh, leaves would come out and everything would be just fine. So, the other thing I want to point out to you here is that a moment ago we were talking about um, no-till versus a little bit of tillage. Isn't it amazing here that even though we planted these straight no-till on April 20th, we have got a perfect stand, 100% stand. That's not always that easy to achieve, but with the year that we had, with the heat, they really turned out nice. Now, what kind of yield potential do we have here? Who knows, right? It depends on what August and July bring us here, but certainly today, I'm very happy with these beans considering the date and uh, they have every opportunity to go over 60 bushels if we get some more moisture here.
who knows, right? You never want to say too much because, well, you know how it is. Thank you.